Hi guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to Fanhead. Today we're going to talk about replacing social media with rating. One of my goals several months ago was I just wanted to find more time for reading. I just wanted to read more, but I just felt like when I wanted to just relax and veg out, I just wanted to, you know, watch YouTube or Netflix or scroll social media and just kind of like tune out that way. Um, but I really wanted to get back into the habit of reading because I love reading and I love books. Initially put Kindle on my iPad, I would just, you know, get library books sent to my iPad and I'd read them on here, but like, she's beefy. Um, and also it's just like not super convenient and I wanted something to replace social media and the scrolling and then just like zoning out. Like there's a, there's a time and place for that and I do plenty of it. A few things that I've done in an effort to replace some of my social media time with reading are as follows. On your phone, you probably know you can set time limits for apps. So if you have an iPhone, you can go into your settings, scroll down just a little bit to screen time. It will show you your daily average and you can see your weekly average or whatever it is. Um, you can set downtime for certain times of day. So if there's, if you wanna set downtime during work or you can set focus times, but what I want to talk about is app limits. And so from here you can click add, an, add a limit. I have one for TikTok because that's really the only one that I get lost in. And then the next thing I did was I have social media in, an, in a, like a folder. So they're obviously very easily accessible on my phone. But I have the Kindle app down here on my like main screen. And so it's just very easy to click to and so if I just have my phone um, and I'm you know I'm waiting on something or I just need that sort of like entertainment instead of like scrolling through social media I will just open the little Kindle app and it syncs between all of your devices so I can just pick up on my book where I was reading I also got a Kindle on this is a refurbished 2018 version and it was I think it was like 50 bucks. It was like 49.99. So keep your eye out for refurbished Kindles. Um, and so I got that. I got a little pop socket for the back. I found it's easier to hold like this than like this. I don't know. This is just easier for me. And I usually like, this is so light that I can carry it around with me during the day or I have it by my bed. And like, I always, always end my day with reading. I hardly, I like don't watch Netflix anymore. I don't really watch YouTube. I still like scroll through a little bit of social media, but especially if I have a book or a series that I'm into, all I wanna do is read. And so sometimes that can become an issue. <laughs> Michael the other day was like, I'm really happy that you're enjoying reading your books, but like, can we have conversations sometimes? And I was like, I am so sorry. <laughs> like I've been so wrapped up into this book series and like all I wanna do is gobble it up. So, there is a balance. But I have found that incorporating reading and getting a Kindle and having that app on my phone, it's just so easy to have your books at your fingertips rather than having physical books or having to go to the library or buy them. And how I do it is my local library uses the Libby app and so doesn't have every book on there obviously, but I have so many books on hold or that I've read and I will see book recommendations or me and my friends will share book recommendations or like look up books and I'll just, you know, request them, put them on hold, borrow them. You can send it straight to your Kindle app. So it will be on your Kindle or if you have the Kindle app on your phone, you have it right there. And like I said, they like sync and so if you're, you've been reading on your Kindle, but then you're like, oh, I don't have that with me, but I wanna keep reading my book, you can just open it on your phone. And it's so, so helpful. So it has definitely helped. So if you find you're in a really bad habit of just being on your phone, there have been days where I will literally just leave my phone in a different room. If you find that you get sucked into scrolling right before bed. For me, that's a terrible way to fall asleep or like wires my brain in the wrong way to then fall asleep. So if you find that you have a problem with that, try charging your phone on like the other side of the room or in a different room completely. But since like starting reading and stuff, 
it's just like, I don't even want to look at my phone. I just want to read my books when it's time for bed. Like I'm so excited when the boys go to sleep. I'm like, nobody talk to me. I just got, I got to get to get back to my book. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm never on social media, that I'm perfect. I'm ne at never scrolling. Like there's a time and place I think to just kind of like completely veg out and let go and just let yourself scroll. Um, I do find some really great book recommendations on TikTok. So there is a time and a place for social media. I just like, when you feel like you're the one that's in control instead of the social media, like it feels better. <laughs> that is what I have to say. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you feel inspired to start reading a bit more, devote some of that time to a hobby you want to pick up or whatever it may be. But that's what I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.